Whew, it is three in the morning, you guys. Super early, I'm having my morning cereal. Today we are gonna try some geese hunting. I've not done any geese hunting this year at all. You got Stella sniffing me down here. Stella. Sit. But anyways, what are you doing? Anyways, hopefully today is a successful day. We're gonna be hunting a cut cornfield. Uh, it is public. My cousin's been doing all the scouting, so big shout out to him. Um, I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel down below, so you guys should check it out. He does a lot of review on products, so make sure you guys check it out. Hey, stop it. But anyways, make sure you head down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. Let's get to it. It's gonna be a good one. Okay. So she is not going hunting yet. Okay. Come on, get on. Go. Okay. Get on. Come on. Good girl. Sit. You're such a good girl, huh? All right, you guys, so we're gonna go over on the setup that we have here. So if you guys can see the light shining over there, that's like 40, probably like eh, 30, 40 yards away. And then over there we got uncut, uncut um, corn. And then right here, these are all cut as you guys can see. So on the outside, we got example right here, we got the sentry. We got some walkers right here and then all the feeders are towards it's a little closer towards us. We got like a little, a little U shape right here. And then we're just gonna hide in the corn stalk and hopefully that will do it. We got about 30 silhouette dive bombs and 12 full bodies. So it was a bit of a walk, but hopefully it's worth it. And yeah, now it's just time to wait for the flight. Right here's the hideout. You got your first one, bro. Uh, yeah, I got it, that dude. Was 20 yards. <laughs> Feet down. Feet down. I'm pretty happy. Yeah. <sighs> Queen kill. Let's go. Oh, man. First goose. No. Yeah. Cause I didn't even see them until you said it. Woo. Congratulations on your first goose ever. Thank you.
Left side, left side coming in. Left side. They're kind of high though. Yeah. Let them work. They're gonna do it, man. You ready? Feet down. Uh, hopefully they don't land far, man. Okay, get them. Grip them. Got him. Both got crippled, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, so we had it was a epic morning hunt, man. I think it was, what is it, 30 minute, and then I already limit out. Uh, I got my cousin here. He was busy doing a lot of, taking a lot of footage, so he got, he got two, and successful day. Man, I don't know what to say, but we got more flying in right now, and we're already done. If you guys like this video so far, be sure you head down there, hit that thumbs up subscribe to the channel we're gonna clean these when we get home do a catch clean cook for you guys and we are back in the kitchen you guys so that was so much work all the plucking that I did thank God I have my wife and my parents that came over to help me but you know these geese, they have these little tiny feathers that they just flutter everywhere and now my garage is just filled with them. Um, I don't know if there's any other way around it unless you breast the geese. But anyways, this is what we're left with here. Um, after we got done plucking, we did torch the bird because there's so much of that little down feather. I think that's what they're called and this is what we're left with. So, that's a beautiful bird. We're going to start cooking. All right, so right here I got the stuff that I'm gonna use to stuff inside uh, the goose. So we got some small potatoes here, which is gonna taste fantastic after it's done cooking. And then over here we got some green onion, cilantro. Um, I cut them to like maybe an inch long. And then I also have a chopped up tomato, or three of them actually. And to end it, we have one chopped up big piece on uh, just regular onion. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna season these. I'm gonna mix them together into one big bowl and I'm gonna season them and then we're gonna stuff it into the duck and also on the outside and then we'll let that roast. All right, so I got this big bowl right here. I'm just gonna add my potatoes. Tasty, tasty little potatoes. Everything's just gonna go in here. Green onions, tomatoes, cilantro. It smells good already, you guys. We're gonna end with some onions. Big chopped up onions. Once you're done cooking, these onions are gonna get so tender. I mean, they're not, they're not gonna be big anymore, so. All right, for seasoning. I got some fish sauce right here. I'm gonna drizzle that in there. Just like so, a little bit more. We're gonna add some soy sauce. A 
This is gonna be good, you guys. We got some oyster sauce. The angle of this is a little weird because, or the footage, because my tripod is it's almost just as tall as this bowl that I'm using right here. So I'm trying my best here. Uh, we're gonna put some salt in there. Some black pepper. And man, you can just smell all the seasoning all the fresh veggies, especially the onion, gives a really strong scent. And then now I'm just gonna mix this. Whew, that smells good. All right, so now for the duck, or meet the geese, we're pretty much gonna do the same thing. So I'm just gonna put a little fish sauce over it. It's okay if you have a lot because I am going to add a little layer of water in here just so that it can st steam itself. It, I don't know. It's going to it's gonna soften the meat if you add the foil and then we're going to, I mean, it's going to soften the meat if you add the water and then you add tin foil right over it. It's gonna act kind of like a little steamer, so. This is the oyster sauce right here. Add my salt. Add my black pepper. And then now I'm just gonna rub it down. Just like that. This is gonna be delicious. I'm not too worried about the inside because I'm gonna put the stuffing on the inside. Get some of this sauce down here. Just rub it all over it. And just like that, you guys. Look at that. This one got shot. Right in the wing, you guys can see that. Little pellet hole right there. All right. So now, I'm just gonna dump, dump this, uh, all my veggie right into the back here. Just like so. Oh, we are overflowing. Scatter them all over the place. Stuff some in here. I do want to put a lemongrass in here. We're gonna do that. Dude, this is gonna be good. Get some onions in here. Let me grab a, I'm gonna grab a lemongrass really quick. All right, I got a frozen lemongrass here. I'm just gonna stuff it in here. Just like so. All right, and then now I'm gonna add a little layer of water. I just wanted to hover right over the foil in here. Just like that, that is good. Now I'm just gonna cover it with foil. All 
All right, so now that we got this all prepped, ready to go in the oven, we're just gonna preheat the oven to 400 degrees, and then just gonna, once it's ready, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in there, and just let it do its thing. It's just gonna, I mean, everything is just gonna fall in together really good. So here's the update, you guys. Um, the geese been cooking for about two hours, and I have not looked at it yet. This is gonna be the first time, so I'm just gonna open it up, pull it out. Ooh, smells good. Let's see. It's definitely steaming. So what I'm planning to do here, I want to take it off, take off the foil, and then we're gonna let it cook for a little bit. Look at that. Woo! Hold up. I need a I need one of these so I can base it. Mm-hmm. It was water, but if you look carefully, there's a lot of fat in here now. So. Oh. Alright you guys, so we got the final product here. So, we'll see how it turns out. There it is. It looks good. It smells good. Look at that, you guys. That looks really good. So you guys can tell, this is where, where the geese got shot. So. I'm just gonna slice these, slice the, the meat into this, all this juice broth here. Get a little of that flavored juice on the rice and then get some veggies. Check that out. All right, here we go. First bite, this, was, this piece got the skin on there. I got a piece of uh, I got a piece of potato right there, right under my rice. <laughs> this is pretty good. It is not as gamey as teal. This is good. Definitely need some more broth over my rice though. A little chewy, but it's not dry. Mmm, this is good. <clears throat> what do you think, guy? Hmm? Is it good? Look at that. 
potato right there. Alright you guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We had an awesome, awesome hunt today. Um, can't ask for a better hunt if you guys, you guys saw the footage. It was super epic. But yeah, this is pretty much it. I'm going to enjoy dinner here and I'll see you guys next time.